So electrical power is the rate at which work is done. And if I rearrange this equation to make uh, the W the work or the energy transferred, the subject, we can say that the work done uh, is equal to the power multiplied by the time. Now normally we measure power in watts, and this is the SI unit, uh, so the joules per second, and we measure time in seconds. And if we use watts and seconds, then we get the energy done in joules. Okay, and that's all that uh, makes sense so far. However, this is only really useful if we think about sort of uh, everyday little objects. If we think about big things like a house, then the kilowatt hour is a lot more useful. So the kilowatt hour is a unit of energy. And if we maybe look at household devices and we measure their power in kilowatts, and you know, because most things don't tend to be turned on and off very quickly, you might leave your laptop on all the time, and perhaps the TV is always on standby. We might think about the time in hours. Now, if we measure the power in kilowatts and the time in hours, then this gives us a unit for energy of the kilowatt hour. Now, because uh, a kilowatt is 1,000 watts and an hour is uh, 3,600 seconds, then this mean that, means that one kilowatt hour is equal to 1,000 times 3.6, uh, which is equal to 3.6 times 10 to the 6 joules. Uh, and this is quite important. Often you need to convert from joules to kilowatt hours or vice versa. Uh, and this thing here is what you need to remember. The other thing that you need to be aware of is that if we talk about a kilowatt hour as a unit of energy, sometimes we just call this the unit. And if you look at a household electricity bill, it doesn't always give you the kilowatt hours because you know this tends to confuse grannies and granddads. Uh, it just gives it in the base thing of the unit and it'll give you how many units you've used that month. And what it then gives you is perhaps the cost per unit. Now it tends to be, um, you know, it depends on the time that you get electricity, how you actually generate that electricity, but it's in the, the order of sort of maybe five to 15 pence. And that means every kilowatt hour of energy that you use costs, you know, maybe 10 pence per unit. And if you know the total amount of kilowatt hours of energy used and you know the cost per unit, you can then work out the total cost. So here we have the total cost is equal to the number of units multiplied by the cost per unit.